Hello, Evan Rain here, and in uh, today's video, I'm going to show you how to install mods in Farming Simulator 19. Now, if you already know how to install mods in Farming Simulator 17, this is the exact same process here in Farming Simulator 19. So nothing has really changed that much for 19. So if you already know how to do it, you know how to do it for 19. Same thing. But for those who don't know how to do it here for Farming Simulator 19, or you haven't done it for previous versions. Uh, there's several different ways you can get mods for Farming Simulator 19. Uh, the first way I'm going to show here is probably the easiest way, but the uh, number of mods you can get this way are somewhat limited. Uh, they are going to only be limited to what Giants offers through their official mod hub, which again is it's pretty limited to what they offer. But uh, there is the benefit they are usually tested. That doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be good though, because uh, as many of us have experienced, uh, not every mod that has come out through Giants um, has worked well. Some of them have definitely caused some pretty serious issues. So anyway, uh, right from the main Farming Simulator 19 uh, screen here. Again, I have the game loaded. You're looking at Farming Simulator 19, the game here. And you, know, you can go into career here and start your game. Uh, we're going to go down to Mods. So Mods, like the middle one here, Mods. And then through here, now, again, Farming Simulator 19 has just come out, so there's not a lot of Mods yet, but... At some point, this screen will probably fill up, and you're going to see all kinds of vehicles and tractors and implements and maps and who knows what else not here. At this point, we only have three categories. we got maps. So we can go download the Astasia Lapocho map if we want. I'm not going to bother doing that here because that, that'll take too long to download. Uh, small tractors, we got a Dutes Agro Star, and under Harvesters, we can download the case. So for this one here, I'm just going to, we're going to pick the small tractor here. We're going to go there. I want to uh, download this, so we're just going to double click on that. Tells you some information about it. I, I don't know really how interesting that is, but if you want some more information, no, not really. We're just going to click install. The mod was added to the download list. Okay, so that means it is being downloaded, and we pretty much just have to wait for it to download here. I don't know if it really, to my knowledge, is not really an indication of you know progress here, so you kind of have to wait if it's a bigger download and you have slower internet. Okay, so once the mod is downloaded, uh, it only took like a minute or so there. Uh, once the mod is downloaded, you'll see a screen that looks like this. Mods were downloaded successfully. Please restart the game to install them. Restart now? Yes, we'll uh, restart the game. So every time you put a mod into the game, or you can do more than one mod at a time, by the way. Uh, you don't necessarily have to restart at this point. Just keep in mind, the mod that you download will not be available until you restart the game. So we're going to restart the game here. So yes. Okay, and the game has restarted, so we're going to go to a career. Oh, let's see. We'll just uh, load up this one here because that's my official save game there. So we're going to load up uh, the Fells Brun save game. And at this point, you should now see the new mod you just downloaded available. So we got the Dutes Agro Star, so we're just going to check that. Uh, select that. Start. Wait for the game to load here. And once the game is loaded, go to start. And we'll just double check and make sure our vehicle is here. Let's see what's here. Was that not, uh, was it small tractors? Small tractors? Ah, yes, here we go. And I'm assuming farming Simulator 19 here is going to be the same way as it was for 17. Uh, mods will always be found at the end of the list. Uh, so you'll see all the in-game equipment first. Uh, you'll have to scroll to the end or bottom, and then you'll see the uh, new mod. So in this case, you know, obviously if you have a lot of vehicles and tractors, it's you know, going to add up. But at the end of the list here, so there's our new mod, the uh, Dutes Agro Star. Let's just uh, narrow tires. Ugh, rear to sure, let's buy that. Just to uh, just try it out here in a second. Go. And there's our new tractor, the Dutes Agro Star 6.61. We downloaded from the in game mod hub. A uh, relatively simple, painless process. Uh, and let's just get back out here. Okay, I'm back on the uh, main screen here for Farming Sim 19. We're going to go back to mods here. just want to show you a couple more things here. Uh, we can see the installed mods. So we got the uh, Dutes Agro Star installed and the uh, John Deere. I don't know why it's not showing the Mahindra here. That's kind of interesting. I don't know why that's not showing up, uh, but I do have it. Uh, then there are also updates. So if you ever have a mod that needs to be updated, you can go to this screen here and update it. Uh, just something to keep in mind with updating mods if you play on a multiplayer server. Uh, just watch what mods you update because uh, that's going to affect uh, whether or not you can connect to that multiplayer server most likely. And then there's just some other stuff here as well. Okay, 
So again, like I said, you can install mods through the game here, but just keep in mind, it's only going to be limited to what is available on the Giants official mod hub, which is somewhat limited and not very many. So what most people do here, and actually let's go to this here, uh, we'll go to different mod sites. Now, I'm not necessarily endorsing this particular mod site here, the mod hub. Uh, I would say it's probably one of the better sites out there. Uh, but there's a lot of different Farming Simulator 19 mod sites already out. Uh, most of them, just like they were for 17, a lot of them are quite shady and uh, should be promptly put out of business and um, not allowed to exist. But uh, anyway, that's a whole nother point. Uh, let's see what's here. So uh, just looking at the uh, mod hub here, I noticed there's a placeable Meridian Metal Seeds station. Looks pretty good, I thought. So we're going to go ahead and download this. So we'll just uh, download. Again, this is for Farming Simulator 19. And, of course, uh, depending on what web browser you're using, it's going to look different. But we're going to save as. And what you want to do is place it in the Farming Simulator 19 mod folder. So the Farming Simulator 19 mod folder is in your documents, my games, Farming Simulator 2019, and then mods. This is the mod folder where the mods go for Farming Simulator 19. And if you notice, that uh, aggro star we downloaded a few moments ago, that's where that is. Okay, so we're just going to hit save there. And that should, uh, yeah, it's already downloaded. Open Farming Simulator 19 back up. Uh, here again, make sure if you want the mod to show up, you need to have the game restart. Otherwise, the uh, mod will not show up. So we're going to go back to career here, save game. And now we have our Meridian Metal Seeds Fill Station placeable. Oh, right the name there. Start. And then uh, we got one more thing I'm going to show you folks as well here before we wrap it up. Uh, a couple things to keep in mind if you have any troubles with mods that are loading or won't load in the game. Uh, start here. Over to placeables. Uh, I wonder what that's under. Silos? I'm actually not sure what it's under. I wonder what that would be considered under. Miscellaneous maybe? Ah, yeah, there it is. Uh, seeds Metal Station. So we can just, uh, I don't know, we'll just stick it down. So where, where can I put this? Got to fit somewhere, right? There. Stick it there. Okay, so yes, there back here is our Metal Seeds. Uh, to my understanding, you can just refill from this like you normally would rather than using the bags. That's what this is for. Eh, it works. It's down. Anyway. Okay, let's get back onto the game here. Okay, I'm just going to go through a couple really quick troubleshooting tips here. Uh, if you're downloading a mod and it is not working, uh, there's a couple of things you can do. One, open up the mod. So just open it up and uh, make sure you see the mod descript XML file. Again, the mods for Farming Simulator 19 should be in a zip file. Uh, that is the way the mods are handled for Farming Simulator, like all the versions of Farming Simulator. They should come in a zip file, a compressed zip file. Uh, so if you see a mod that's in a folder, that's wrong. Uh, if a mod is extracted, that is also wrong. The mod needs to be in a zip file. Uh, but what you got to watch is make sure it's not zipped inside of a zip. Uh, you'll commonly see that with like packs of mods. So, you know, again, just open it up. Make sure you see the mod descript file. Uh, a common example of this, and this is not true with the one from the Giants mod website. But uh, like if you download a combine, sometimes what the mod author do is they'll put the combine and then the headers will be all separate. So you'll have a pack that includes the combine, which is a zip file, and then you'll have like a zip file for the headers. And you'll need to extract that and put each one in individually. Uh, something else you might see is a RAR type archive, which is just another compressed type of file. I uh, didn't see a whole lot of this for uh, 17, but they still exist. So something to keep in mind if you see a mod like this, uh, that needs to be needs to be extracted. So if you open this up here, uh, you'll see there's actually a mod inside of here. And of course, you'll need the Win RAR extractor here to extract it. Uh, that is free to download online. You can search for that if you need it. Uh, but we'll just right click on it. I'm going to extract here. And now I'm just going to get rid of this here because we don't need that anymore. You can see the Lift 19 mod is now in my mod folder. The uh, Lift 19, by the way, just lets you lift heavy objects if you're wondering what that mod does. Okay, and then there's a couple other things you could do here as well. Uh, if your mod still is not working, 
Uh, you go to your documents. Actually, let me just start back at the beginning here. Go to your documents, my games, farming simulator 19, and check your log file. So open up the log file. And if you scroll down a little bit, uh, a couple of notches or so, uh, right, yeah, right about actually here, uh, you'll notice it's saying loading mods. So this section right here, loading mods. Uh, and this, you want to look at this, and you'll it'll tell you if there's a mod that is not loading properly, and it will tell you why. So like uh, in incorrect mod descript file, or maybe bad name, whatever. It'll tell you right here why the mod is not loading. So if you go into your game, you know, you just downloaded this great looking new mod and it doesn't work. Uh, you can check a couple things first or just go straight to your log file here and look. Okay, you know, mod, whatever. It has a bad name. Uh, you know, see if you can fix it or maybe it's just, it's plain, simple, bad mod. I mean, that happens with Farming Simulator, unfortunately. Uh, people that make mods should not be allowed to make mods sometimes. So, and unfortunately they release junk. Uh, anyway, folks, have any comments or questions about this? Be sure to uh, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until uh, next time. And hopefully this helped out. Don't forget to also like, comment, and subscribe.